Outside court, the Chowdhury family shares their tragic story, showing just how quickly life can change. The five of us were in our comfort zone, in our front yard of our home. We were at ease, we felt safe. We heard a speeding car and immediately saw it flying into our two children and neighbor. The crash shocked their Vaughan, Ontario community. Symbols of mourning dotted the quiet suburb after their deaths. Our beautiful Anaya, so full of passion, courage, and determination, died from her injuries. Our little loving, spunky four year old Jax also lost his life due to his injuries. The 16 year old driver was speeding down the residential street, going 102 kilometers an hour. The children's father is struggling to accept this new reality. I have to accept the devastation on my family, and I have to accept the laws that protect the guilty. The now 17-year-old driver has been sentenced to one year in open custody, followed by six months of community supervision and a six-year driving ban. In court, the judge said he seemed remorseful. This is not a light sentence. This young man's going into custody. While there is no sentence that could possibly ease the Chowdhury's pain, defense attorney Andrew Vaughn says the sentence is fair. Well, the Youth Criminal Justice Act takes into account that young people's brains are not fully developed, they're not fully cognitively developed. And so we, you know, as much as we want to hold them responsible, we, and it, I think the sentence does that. The family is trying to turn their grief into advocacy for safer streets. We ask you as a greater community to do your part in honoring not only the lives of our children, but all those who have lost their lives to reckless driving. This is what we lost. This is what you guys lost. This is what the world lost. Ali Chiasson, CBC News, Toronto.